What trickery, what trickery, what the hell was ALA Promotions doing right here on the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show? I am your host, Mr. A, and we're talking the Philippines, Pinoy Boxing. You know, thank you for your time and support. Hit those thumbs up. You know, when you tune into the show, this is your boxing show. Help it out. Give me some love and support. Support the show. If you're a new viewer, hope you become a new subscriber by the end of this. Now, I was really, really excited when I saw... Now, this card was the ninth. Now, I saw that it was going to come up. I was at the sixth or anything. I was like, man, I wanted to make I wanted to uh, make breakdown and predictions for these fighters. I'm like, oh, man, you know... The, the, the card had names on it. The card had some. It had. Uh, Sans, well, how do you pronounce the name? Santisima. Uh, the, the up and comer 15 and 2. It had Albert Paraga. Arthur Vill, um, Villanueva. Melvin Jerusalem. Jason Paraga. Who fucking goes and misses his weight by 12 pounds? Who in the hell misses weight by 12 pounds? Pounds. What the fuck? No, but it had Arthur Villa. It had a bunch of hot, uh, ranked fighters, you know. And then the fact that uh, it had two really high, it had two, it had two high ranked. Um, well, not high ranked, but it had two well good names in the um. The bantamweight, the super bantamweight division. I thought, okay, you got Daniel Roman taking on Moses Fuentes, the, and then the bantamweights coming up on the Errol Spence undercard. So I was like, okay, bantamweights are starting to get busy. So you figure, well, right, okay, you got you, you just had Diego De La Hoya fight in the bantamweights on the eighth, and you, then you have, uh, so I said. You had WBA champion Daniel Roman taking on number one, Moses Fuentes. You got Galvin McDonald taking on Stuart Hall on the undercard of the Earl Spence fight. So, that like, cool. You got Super Bantamweights going down. You got these Filipino Bantamweights. You got, you see, Alba Paraga, he's number what? Nine by the WBO, number seven by the IBF. Uh, okay, so you, I was getting excited. Like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna start covering. Alvarado is coming back on his uh, fight loss against uh, Juarez. This is his second fight. He's gonna do it. You got the up and comer uh, Santis. How do you pronounce the name? Santisima. Santisima. Yeah, he's the up and comer. Nice power. Looking like he has power in both hands. Good height on him. Good reaching his jab. Like I said, he had Arthur Villanueva. He's, I think this is like well, his second fight coming back. So it's like, okay, we have some good names here. What, what class is Will and Evelyn? He is a Bantamweight. So he has a Super Bantamweight and a Bantamweight. And Villanova, he's what? Number 12 by the WBC. He's number... That's all he is now after that loss? Wow. Well, still, he was coming back. So I'm like, okay, this card has some names, some highly, some good ranking names. And then I start doing, you know, doing my breakdown of predictions. I like, <sighs> a, uh, and, and I hear a lot of, I don't know much about ALA promotions, but from the comments I read between some of the Filipino um, supporters, they go back and forth at each other. Because of you, I kind of learned about ALL. Some people say ALL is shit. You know, they never do nothing for their fighters. They they bring them up and then they softball them. And I was like, okay, so maybe. A, and then I saw this card. I was like, okay, maybe some of these uh, supporters are telling the truth. What in the fuck was ALA doing? You know. I look at the I look at the fucking card, and the only fight I thought was going to be decent was the main event. 
you had uh, Joe Santissima taking on Leaky Chan. 15-2 taking on 16-6. and six. Uh, Leaky Chan, he's not much of a power fighter. You know, uh, Joe knocked him out and TKO'd him in three, three rounds, which is kind of weird because... He, he, he did, at the, at the third round, he did crack him and kind of sent him to the ropes. He let some flurries off. The guy was kind of ducking. The referee stopped it. And then uh, Santissima, he ran to the corner, got on the ropes. And then you see, like, Licky Chan, like, a couple seconds he go, like, running after him. Like, what the hell? And then he stopped, like, you know, he's showing, like, why did the referee stop it? So could he have let some more punches go on him, get, let him get beat up a little more? I think he could have. But at the same time, uh... Licky, Licky Chan did kind of look like for a little bit like he was almost almost out on his feet, you know. So that was the only cool fight to me because I thought, to me, as of right now, I think Licky Chan is a better overall boxer than uh, Gio uh was it Santissima? But he's not as powerful, so his punches don't deliver the impact. Cause he he throws better overall punches. He moves better with his feet, better movement. But uh, Santissima has power in both hands, decent jab. He doesn't he doesn't have the head movement. And Chan has all that stuff. He's just he's not accurate. He doesn't have the power. And Santissima just lit him up and TKO'd him in three rounds. It really was no contest. And then you go on to the other fights. You know, going, let's stick with the, the Santissima versus Dickie Chan first. And this, this little trend here is going to continue. Uh, Chan, Licky Chan, in his last five fights, he was two and three. In the fights, in the fights that he lost, his opponents were two, 31 and 4. And the ones that he won, well, he, he, was, he was 2 and 3 in his last five fights. His, his record was 22 and 21. He won those fights. The ones he lost, 31 and 4. So it shows you his competition. He, he's way he ain't going to do. And then we move on to the next one. Albert the Prince Paraga. The blonde hair freak. You know? Waiting for his bounce back. You know, Juarez really derailed this guy's career. You know, the same Juarez who went on to lose to uh, Dog Bowl for the interim belt, who went on eventually to become champion by beating Magdaleno. Um, Juarez got that shot against Dog Bowl by beating Paraga. And he just took the fight to Paraga. Paraga was a nice, big star, up-and-coming guy. So he fights... I think it's his second fight coming back. He fights Larry Odio. Odio. He's uh his last ten fights. He, Odio was nine and one. His overall record was twenty three and two. Looked really good on paper. So his last ten fights, he's nine and one. And then you look at his opponents in those last ten fights. His opponent's opposition record, 65 and 78. What in the hell, ALA? So, Praga, there was a mismatch. He sparked him out in three rounds, TKO'd him. Uh, he, was, he knocked him down in the what, second and third. So, Hit him with hooks. By the, by the middle of the third, the guy was in complete survival mode. They threw in a towel in the third. 
it was, it, he couldn't do nothing. He was just, and then you, and then you get a uh, Arthur Villanova. He's fighting a Rin Rin. Rin Rin Torcerio. He knocked TKO'd him in the seventh round. And uh, he had the same losing record. He's sixteen and twelve. In his last four fights, he was one and four. In his last five fights, he was one win, four losses. His last ten fights, he was three wins, seven losses. So this car was a just a complete mismatch for some nice ranked fighters, and and then like I see why this car right here made me completely understand why some of the uh, some of my Filipino supporters, or at least viewers, go go at each other hard. Like you, you got some ALL supporters, and then you got some people just like you know ALL be doing shit for our fighters, man. You, they 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 big them up with shit competition. So when they get into a real fight, their fighters get their ass whooped. And looking at this card, you know, Tancisima, Tancisima. Paraga, Villanova, they look good, but they show a lot of flaws, man. Like, a good fighter, Paraga, you get a good fighter with a jab and some movement, oh, he's going to be in trouble all night long, all night long. Tansisima, he probably has the best hope to me, but right now I think a, a guy, a, a mover and a jab, could give these guys but they're so used to being a heavy favorite in their fights they just come forward and throw punches without really setting anything up they don't cut the ring off they follow you around and they just swing heavy punches you these guys get in the ring with a good boxer it's gonna be it's gonna be a long night for them so like I said it was a very disappointing card it, it kept them busy, but it, to me, those three fighters, they didn't get any better at all in their careers. Uh, Gio Santima, Santissima, Albert Paraga, and Arthur Villanova. Like I said, and then you got Jay, the older brother, Jason Paraga, coming in 12 pounds of her weight. Ella, ALA. I don't know, man. It was a, a waste of some good talent that night, but... Double RT Boxing Show. Please show your support. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What did you think of this card if you watched it?